The scene opens in a dimly lit, high-tech laboratory. A muscular, middle-aged man is seated in a chair, wearing military fatigue pants and a tank top. A metal helmet is placed on his head, connected to a similar helmet on the lifeless body of a 16-year-old boy. Two scientists stand nearby, adjusting controls on a complex machine. This is it, John. Your consciousness is going to be transferred into Alex's body. Are you ready for a fresh start? Yeah. I'm more than ready. Here we go. The female scientist pulls a lever. The experiment is a success. John, now in Alex's 16-year-old body, stands near lockers in a high school. A teenage boy with shaggy brown hair approaches. Hey, Alex. Your locker's right here. Uh, thanks. Do you remember me? I'm Andy, your best friend. Your parents said that some scientists found you after an accident. Yeah, Andy. I remember you. But my memory's a little fuzzy. Hey, Alex! Leave him alone, Mark. He's not feeling well. A tough-looking teenager approaches. Do you know what day it is today? It's Friday. So you better pay up or I'll have to kick your ass. I'm not giving you any money. You know, I was in a generous mood. But it looks like somebody needs to be taught a lesson. (laughs) Mark attempts to punch Alex, who skillfully dodges and counters with a kick to the stomach. You're gonna pay for that! Haven't you been listening? I'm not giving you any money. Alex elbows Mark in the face. Two boys watch Alex. Hey, Tommy. Is that Alex? That's not possible. I thought he's supposed to be dead. Alex and Andy, wearing their backpacks, walk through an alleyway. Dude, that was crazy. How did you beat up Mark like that? Uh, uh, um, I took up martial arts. You gotta teach me how to be a badass. Tommy appears ahead of the duo. Uh, why is Tommy staring at us? Tommy blocks their way. I don't know how you did it, Alex. But this time, I'll make sure you stay dead. Alex grabs Tommy by his wrist, stopping his knife (laughs) mid-swing. Alex drives the knife into Tommy's leg. Andy paces back and forth in Alex's room. What's up with Alex? Something's not right. I just know it. Alex enters the room. I covered our tracks. We should be in jail, man. Andy, you weren't the one that killed Tommy. I was. What's the name of the first dog you had? What? What are you talking about? Answer the question, Alex. Uh, Max. You're not Alex? That's ridiculous. Are you even listening to yourself? It was a trick question. The real Alex hates dogs. Dude, it's me. Cut the crap. The truth. Now. (sighs) My name is John. And your Alex is dead. How do I know you haven't gone insane? You don't. I served in the military and was surrounded by blood and death. I just needed a fresh start. Did you have something to do with Alex's death? You heard Tommy. He and his friends are responsible. I don't understand why you... Why Alex would sell drugs for them. Well, someone stole it from Alex, so they killed him for it. Uh, hello? It's Raymond. We gotta settle this once and for all. Meet me and Sean tonight by the forest, near Silverbricks Park. I'll be there.
Alex walks in a forest. Didn't think you'd show up. Well, I'm here. Now what? Sean pulls out a knife. Now we kill you. He shoots Sean in his head. <laughs> Raymond tackles Alex to the ground. You're gonna regret killing Sean. <laughs> Alex flips Raymond off him. Then he grabs a nearby rock. He smashes his skull with the rock. Raymond's skull is covered in blood and brain matter. Outside a restaurant, Alex and Andy are seated at a table. A waitress walks over with drinks in hand. Here's a Dr. Pepper. And a passion fruit for you. Thanks. Do you guys need anything else? We're good for now. Thanks. Okay, well, enjoy. So the police don't know that you're responsible for... Yeah, they think it's gang-related. I'm glad. Alex got justice. You may not be the real Alex, but I see a lot of him in you. Maybe... Maybe someday we can become friends in the future. Maybe. Hey, wanna get some ice cream? Only if you're paying. We could flip for it. <laughs> nah, let's play punches. No way, that's not fair. How about rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? <laughs>